Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the smart Whirlpool top load washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. Grandma, we miss you. Come here, kids. It's so good to see you again. Grandma and I have to catch up. Why don't you play in the other room for a bit? Okay. It's good to see you again, Mom. We all missed you. I'm sorry it took so long. I lost a lot to my gambling problems, but I'm happy to have my life back with you. We are too, Mom. If gambling is creating a problem for you, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. This is the story of a DNA experiment gone mostly wrong. DJ and Mix. Mornings. Consider this. This happy couple, for instance, have a real problem. How could you? Remain calm. Out of sight. Be ready for anything. The pros and cons. Do not cross the streams. This is BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, you got to give some hats off to this uh, Nebraska bakery employee because, uh, well, they're they're the lucky recipient of a $2,000 tip from a customer. So... I guess I really should give hats off to the customer. <laughs> hats yeah, well, off to you for taking money, pal. Good job accepting all that cash. You're an amazing human being. Nobody would have taken that to that. Well, you know what he did, though? He did split it up amongst all the uh, hourly employees. Yeah, because so, he wouldn't have left the building if he didn't. Yeah. So I guess you get the hats off for that because you could have tried to pocket it and do it. I hear a couple of the employees of the Omaha Bakery talking about what happened. He kind of like snickers a little bit as he turns the screen back to me. And I was like, that's that's wrong. You, you put too much of a tip in there. And he goes, if you don't hit OK, I'm going to reach around and hit OK. You never think it's going to happen at your business. He knew that people were struggling in general. And he noticed that our staff was working really, really hard. You don't have to give random strangers $2,000, but even just saying have a good day could help somebody go from a zero to a 10. Okay, but, you know, to really get from a zero to a 10, $2,000 will get it done. What are you doing? What are you yeah, doing? Right. Hey, who's that employee? Get him out. If he doesn't need a two grand, then fine. Don't give it to him. Oh, man, I'd hand him all the cinnamon rolls in the world. <laughs> if someone did that right here, just take everything. Whatever yeah. you want. I don't even care anymore. Thanks for the $2,000. That's a cool story because, I mean, it's been tough for people to get folks to go back to work in retail establishments, food establishments. So it's nice when customers get that, see the people busting ass, you know, and uh, and rewarding them. You know, that's that's good stuff. Hopefully he didn't need that 2000 That's the only other problem is does he go home and the wife's like, well, we got to make rent. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> You just gave $2,000 to the bakery people? But, babe, I've got cinnamon rolls. Yeah. They're fresh. I hope everybody's okay. That's have, all I hope. Have you guys ever, like, I, I always have to, like, double check and make sure, because sometimes, like, you have, like, those square reader type places where they have, like, the iPad and they swing, swing it around. You want to put, like, a custom tip. Oh, yeah. And as I'm typing it in, I'll put, I'm meaning to give, like, a $7 tip, and I notice, oh, crap, I'm about to give a $700 tip. Whoa. And I'm like, what would you, like, yeah. I, if that happened, yeah. I hope that they're okay with it. Okay, yeah. Can I get $693 of that back, please? <laughs> You're right, because I, I, I hit okay. I'm the one. So I, I don't even let them hit okay, so there's nobody double-checking my work. And I, yeah. almost, I almost did that, too, Steve. I I almost gave somebody, like, whoa, wait a second. That's, uh, that's too many zeros. 
And Can I, I do get like, a couple of zeros back? I like that he did the snicker, because I would be that person, too. I'd be like, huh? You know, because like, <laughs> you want to oh, make that, sure oh, that they that know <laughs> yeah. that you gave them the $2,000 tip. Oh, so you so what? What would you do? You look like you're doing a song at you. Huh? I, I would give him like the the arms out, like the you know what's hey. up, and I go. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what I would think of if you gave me one of those. It's like, what is he doing? Uh, all right. uh, you know what? Hey, whatever you got to do, if you're gonna, you know, huh? I'm like, uh, are you okay, sir? Oh, that's all. Oh, hey, thank you. You can hang all you want for, you know, $2,000. See, my immediate reaction would be to do, like, the suck it thing. But, like, like not the but DX not, chop? Yeah, like, the not, suck it? Yeah. Chop the crotch? Just like, yeah. And then yeah. be like, you gave wow. us a lot of money. Why are you being a douche? And I'd be like, I don't know. I just, what else do I do? And then you flip them off as you leave. Yeah. yeah. Do you do Have the Marshawn? Do you do the Marshawn? Do you grab your ding ding? Yeah. Is that because that's what he used to do when he scored touchdowns? Grabbing my ding ding. Yeah, I mean he would grab the old. Yeah, I mean you have to jump out through the door grabbing your ding ding. Oh, there you and go. that was oh. the rudest customer, but he gave us two thousand dollars, so we're really conflicted. Yes, that's very what bitter. I'm yeah, yeah, very very bittersweet on that one. You don't know which way to go. Uh, and there goes Danny. You know, just basically just pointing pointing to D's nuts. <laughs> D's yeah. nuts. And you're like, wow, I really want to hate him, but he just gave me two grand. That Boy. is an insane tip, though, to think it about. Is. Like, when you're just doing your job at a bakery and all of a sudden someone's just like, hey, hey. I don't know if that's the, the, the snicker that Oh, now, that's, now we went from a, all right. Well, they uh, said he gave a snicker. Yeah. I know. I feel, I feel like a snicker's like, <laughs> you know, like the dog used to do there, dastardly mutt, whatever that dog. <laughs> they, a snicker's like a, <laughs> a quiet laugh. Like that? You know? Uh, I like, sir, like, keep your money. I don't know what you want in exchange. You're yeah. creeping us out. <laughs> Yeah, it's very dastardly. I always thought Snickers were dastardly, no, but see, whatever. I always, I always thought it was just more of like a, huh? Like That's you just kind of what I like, just did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well. Oh, well, no, Steve, you're like, huh? <laughs> this kind of sounds like a duck, but you know. Okay. Kind of like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think the two of you should present it together because Danny's pointing to the boys. You're going, huh? <laughs> I mean, I think it's a hell of a show if the two of you do it. Well, well, that's what you're going to do. Point like, look, look what I just gave you. A lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go about it. I think that, yeah. I gave you $2,000 as a tip. Yeah. Do you that's think I, if you were, if, if you, you know, if you were rain man, that would be the way to do it. Do you think that the like employees put his picture in the back and just like, this guy gets hooked up whenever he comes in for the next year? Right. Always let him jump the line. Yeah. He walks in. Everyone's just like, why the hell did this guy get ahead of us? Give a $2,000 tip and that's see why. how we treat you. <laughs> Yeah, and then of course, the, what, 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 the, the, eventually it's going to be a new employee who doesn't know him, and then it's going to treat him like regular. And then how do you feel? You're like, oh no, you wait over here. I remember that happened to me. I was at a restaurant where I, you know, I, I did some good stuff for the restaurant, but one of the people didn't didn't know who I was, and so I walked. I I didn't even know there was a line, and I because uh, people were just sort of waiting outside, so they weren't in line. So I said, oh, I'll just walk in. But they had a policy where you had to sign up outside. I didn't know. I just because I so I walked in, and uh, one of the people threw me out. And <laughs> it was embarrassing That's because awesome. I was there with my family and I said, hey, you know what? These guys are great people. They know me. So we always have a good time. And they threw me out and my family just wouldn't let me live it down, which was it was really funny. And then the, the guy that knew me came running out. And he was so he's like, I am so sorry. I mean, you just did great stuff for us last week and you just got thrown out by somebody who doesn't know you. I go, don't worry about it, dude. It's, I, you have a whole policy I don't know about. I didn't know that on this day there's big lines i don't know what's going on and uh it was it was funny though it was like you know it, it didn't take too long before it doesn't matter what you do today's a new day buddy get the hell to the back of the line oh so i said bj are you talking about muttley the dog yeah muttley that's okay, it yeah a few people have been texting and i'm like first i'm like why are people calling bj muttley they're like bj <laughs> muttley i couldn't muttley, remember BJ. the dog's name yeah so muttley would snicker <laughs> I mean, now i remember yeah yeah that's a snicker Ooh. to me. I'm yeah. looking at uh, they, they they posted the, on their Facebook page that the receipt for what the guy bought. Ooh. Oh, so what did yeah. he buy that gave a two thousand dollar tip? Dude, he spent five dollars on two turnovers and then left the the two thousand dollar tip. That's the way to do it. Yeah, he must just love that place. Yeah, I wonder if he went around to other places as well. Huh. That's a good question. Like, or is this just like this is his spot? Because they 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 said customers like Nicholas really do keep local businesses alive. Yeah. So I, I wonder if that's like his place. Like he goes all the time. I would just do it at my. Yeah. Spot. I wouldn't necessarily. I mean, unless I was like had millions of dollars, then at that point I'm going everywhere. But like for my favorite spot, I'm yeah. just going to go. You know, real fine coffee in West Seattle. They're getting a, a good tip from me. Yeah, it wasn't two thousand dollars. It was only 
Ten dollars. Yeah. So we gave a ten dollar tip to the Bigfoot Java people on Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, listen. Were... I mean, that's close. I mean, if you depending on how you squint, it looks like a lot of money. <laughs> I did as I handed over. Went, huh? Hey, hey. <laughs> see what I, I gave you? Ten old dollars as a tip. I mean, one coffee. A, that's that's a nice tip for one copy. Yeah. Uh, coffee, you're right. It's not two grand. This guy makes you look bad now. Now yeah, I don't like this guy because yeah. I'm no, embarrassed. For, I should probably no go, never go back to that coffee shop. <laughs> oh, probably not. They're gonna go. Wait, excuse me, sir. You gave us a what? A t- you didn't even give us a three figure. Okay, you only gave us a two figure tip. <laughs> Thanks, there, Scrooge. Yeah, well, maybe Christmas was- you'll get lucky. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, really? Are they going to get lucky? They go up it to $13. Yeah, I was thinking of bumping it to 20 oh, now, okay. you know, <laughs> I feel like Christmas is like, that's the big one. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to. Yeah, again, when you say get lucky, I, they, 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 it's not going to gonna be nowhere near 2,000. <laughs> no, that's not happening. But there will be a yeah. two and a zero in there. Ah, <laughs> and you, you know, know what? With sense, it's yeah. still two and three zeros. And remember, the guy said, you know what, all it takes is just a good day to go from almost zero to ten. So, you know what, you can tell him that. Go, hey, I'll give you a good day with that 20. That's almost like two grand. I'll give you that $20 too. Be like, hey, don't spend it all in one place. (laughs) (laughs) And then don't forget the Muttley left. Back to Starbucks I go. (laughs) I'm going to be banned from Bigfoot for all Yeah, probably. uh, You'll be like, okay. Hey, uh, here's a question for you. Why is a man... Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today. You know, I'm glad we can take this time for ourselves. I know, me too. It's nice going on new adventures, experiencing new things, and creating new memories again. I missed you when you seemed lost in your gambling. Well, I'm back and ready to visit new places and see new sights. Oh, and try new foods. (laughs) Yes, new foods. (laughs) If gambling is creating a problem for you, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. Everything is better electrified. Like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. Delivering pies to gas station employees. All right, we got $2,000 here. We got a guy bringing pies to gas station employees. Steve is going to tell you why. He's got the mix report for you at 620 on The Rock. DJ and Migs mornings continues on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Migs. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Kia Puyall for giving us the Migs Report. And today, stay away from me. Give me my personal space because it's National Personal Space Day. Ah, all right then. I don't know how you celebrate that, right? (laughs) Lock yourself in a room. I was going to say, maybe just don't show up to work and just be like, it's personal space day here. Yeah, be like Vicky and the Rev. (laughs) Yeah, let's do it. (laughs) Yeah, just like, yeah, 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 I know. And Joe. And Joe. Yeah, I know. We are are three people down, but you know what? That doesn't mean we're not going to do it. I mean, hey, that's pretty awesome. Props to them for celebrating personal space day and not telling us about it. 
<laughs> yeah, I would have been. I, I, I would have been nice to know because we all could have celebrated. But unfortunately, here we are. We're we're all in our own space. But more importantly, today is the day to open up your wallets and show some love for some good causes because today is Giving Tuesday. Yeah. So I don't know oh, if you have a charity right. that you care yeah. about. You know, we're going to talk a little bit later about Coach for Kids because we're bringing it back as of today. Uh, so maybe you want to help out some kids in need and put some jackets on some kids like we do every year. That's always a great thing. Go to kidsw.com for all the info. Uh, but yeah, today's the day to. To share some love. Oh, I, li- I like what you did on Giving Tuesday, Coach for Kids Day. Nice. What a way to start it off, BJ. Yeah, that is, you know what? I like this plan. Or maybe you want to give people some pie. Ooh. Oh, you want some pie? I don't know if they're homemade pie or not, but the guy there's a guy in Utah who decided, you know what? I want to show some love to the gas station attendants. Really an unthanked group of people, I feel. Uh, the gas station and the attendants. Yes. Like the people who work at a gas station. Uh, oh, okay. Because, I mean, really, uh, you know, you mean, so the people that work at the Quickie Mart kind of a place, really. I mean, it could be that. You could maybe work, maybe it's in Oregon and you're the person that pumps people's gas. Oh, yeah, that know. guy. Yeah, that guy deserves some love. All right, I'm, I'm with you on this. Well, the guy decided, you know what? They deserve something. So I'm going to give him some pie and some gift cards. His name is Josh. And, and, and if you're wondering, well, why of all things? Here he is explaining why he decided to do it. I just wanted to do something to give back to the community I've been a part of for so long. And I am going around to gas stations around the community, covering as many as I can to deliver a little thank you to those that are working away from their, you know, family and friends so that we can kind of go see ours. (laughs) Slow down a little bit and uh, recognize the the opportunities we have to make a difference just in our day-to-day journeys. My question is, you work at a gas station, a random guy comes in with a pie. Are you eating it? <laughs> See, that's the thing. Uh, you know, uh, that recently happened to me. Oh. But I think the smart thing to do is that people buy store-bought products or uh, mm-hmm. something that comes from a place that's not them. Yeah. Yep. And there, at least you can go, all right, you, you look like you bought this at a place, so chances are it's good. Because uh, I mean, how else can you give people food, really, these days? A lot of people are like, don't eat something if you don't know where. It, I'm always the person that just eats anything that's put in front of me. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll find out what happens. What's the word? I'd put you, worse you in my and body. I, You and I are going to be easy to poison. Like Game of Thrones, yes. we'd be dead in the first episode <laughs> because we eat everything. <laughs> like, this idiot, he ate the pie, and yeah. it was obvious that there was poison on top of it. You ever do one yeah. of those things where you like put it aside, and you're like, yeah, I'm not going to eat it, and then it's just sitting there like calling your name. Yes. You're like, well, I guess it's going to be safe. I'm going to take a little nibble, give it yeah. 20, 30 minutes. I'm treating it like it's mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel anything. I think I can finish the whole thing. Yep. You need a royal taster. That's what you need. A royal taster. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah, Try that's this. What, oh, yeah. That's what they used to call them back in the day, Danny. I, I Okay. What do you get oh, paid yeah, to be oh, a royal yeah. tester? Uh, or taster? Well, I, I don't think you got... I think your life is what you got say paid. E. coli, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> really, the king and queen said, guess what? You're either dead now or you take a shot and roll the dice and eat this pie. <laughs> Well, I was heading over to England where another guy decided to celebrate Giving Tuesday by giving away a bunch of his drugs. Unintentionally, oh, but... Oh, all right. This so, is a great day. Cops in England, they were raiding a drug dealer's apartment. So he's like, oh, crap, the cops are here. I need to unload all of my, my product. Good call. So what did he do? He opened a window on the second floor where he was and just started throwing huge handfuls of pot out of the window. He didn't oh, bother to look outside the window to see where the cops were because they were all just standing outside that window that he was throwing the weed out of. So it's all landing at their feet. That's Apparently, like, that. thousands of dollars worth of stuff. Wow. Of course, That's awesome. He, someone caught it on video as well, which is even better. It's landing, like, on an awning, and then it rolls off the awning right in front of the cops. That's pretty good. Yep. Nice work. All right. Let's talk. Yeah. Do we talk about the Seahawks? I know we're going to talk with Mitch. Uh, at seven seventeen, with Mitch Unfiltered I'm sorry, about what, the Seahawks. Who, who are you referring to? At this team that plays here in uh, in, yeah. in, in Seattle. Oh, you mean, are you talking about the Kraken? Because I really. Oh, we could talk about the what Kraken. a great game that was. <laughs> oh my! I'm glad I spent more time watching the Kraken game than I did the Seahawks game. I was bouncing back and forth. I'm like, I'm having fun watching a winner as yeah. opposed to this. Oh yeah, I uh, mean, still at the end, there's a chance they're down. Russell Wilson finally figured out how to throw a ball into someone's hands and. There you go. <laughs> Touchdown to Freddie yeah. Swain. They're only down by a couple points. They got to go for the two point conversion. Of course, yeah. Doesn't happen. It's intercepted. They lose 17 to 50. Then there's an onside kick and they recover it. And you're like, oh, is this the magic of old? Are the Seahawks going to be able to pull a loss? I mean, a win out of what's sure to be a loss. And then they were illegally formed on the, 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 the Which, kick. Which uh, was so lame because that guy was not even near the play. I, I mean, it's just like, thanks, Skippy. This is the story of our lives is that somebody who is just really inconsequential to the play Ugh. messes up the play. And then like Danny and I were talking during the break, uh, we were just like, it's crazy that they almost got the next onside kick as well. 
Yeah. Which would have been insane. I would have loved to have seen what would have happened. Probably nothing. It would have probably just been more disappointment. But that's what's happened with the Seahawks this year. They're three and eight. A massive disappointment. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. Happy birthday, Russ. Yeah. <laughs> was yeah, he was, yeah, he's he's not cooking. This one texter said, Seahawks are sporting the same record as the New York Jets. Hey. Oh, yeah, we, I mean, outside of the Lions, we are the worst team in football. And the I Jets mean, can feel good about that because they're also getting our draft picks. Yeah, I know. That's even more disgusting. It's like, hey, that's, uh, hey, all right. But BJ, yeah, let's talk some Kraken. Big Woo! win, 7 to 4. Dude, how about the Kraken have won four of their last five games? Three of those wins are against the top teams in the NHL. Yeah. They're looking pretty damn awesome. Granted, yesterday they weren't playing one of the top teams of the NHL, but they kicked their ass, and that well, was they, pretty yeah, cool. They, they did what they were supposed to against a team of that caliber. And uh, Drieger played it great again. Uh, he had a great game against Florida, and then made 32 saves yesterday. I mean, there was a goal at the end of the game to make it 7-4, to four, but, I mean, they were really a dominant force. They were up 3 nothing after the first period. Uh, it was just a lot of fun to watch, but the highlight of the, the game, I don't know if you were watching at all, BJ, during the game, but there was a penalty uh, called on Hayden Flurry of the, the Kraken. And okay. it was a questionable call. And he made the ref know that it was a questionable call. So he looked at the ref and said, that was a bad effing call. And the ref replied, F you. But the best part about all of this was, wow. you know, when the ref makes an announcement about a penalty, he turns a microphone on so everyone in the uh, on television and also people in the arena can hear what the penalty was. So the microphone, I think, was still on when he told Hayden Flurry, <laughs> F you, we have the audio, and it's awesome. You can hear it faintly, Hayden Flurry saying that was a bad effing call. Then he announces the penalty, and then he tells Hayden Flurry what he thinks of him. <laughs> yeah, baby. I love that the ref is like, hey, F you. Ah, uh, that's awesome. We need uh, more hockey. of that. Yeah, <laughs> I wish like other teams were more like hockey play, like hockey where you just fight. You can just say whatever you right. on your mind. You want to fight a guy? Sure. Yeah. You got to spend five minutes away from the game. That's it. I feel like if you say that to a major league umpire in baseball, you're out of the game. Yeah. But in hockey, it's just like, oh, F you. They say it back. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's the best part is the refs are just as salty as the players. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, F me? F you, buddy. Yeah, pal. And the Kraken had a couple shorthanded goals for the first time in their short career. That was yeah. pretty sweet. A lot of yeah. good stuff. How about the Mar See, even though the Seahawks sucked, at least we have some good news. The Kraken are playing well. The Mariners are going to win the World Series, and that's going to be awesome. Yeah, the Mariners <laughs> made a move. A couple good ones, but I mean, a huge yeah. one, getting the American League Cy Young Award winner. Hasn't been officially announced, but it's pretty much a done deal. They picked up, uh, 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 what the hell is his name? Robbie, Robbie Ray. Ray. Robbie yeah. Ray from the Toronto Blue Jays. Ugh, a lot of money, though. $115 million for five years. But still, that's a for big a, pickup. For a pitcher? I mean, that is a, for a pitcher of that guy's caliber, pitching, by the way, and of course, finally somebody being smart going, wait, you want to pay me a lot of money to pitch at, at, at Lumen Field? Uh, not Lumen Field, T-Mobile Park? A place where nobody hits the ball? Yeah, I'll go there. I mean, every pitcher who's good should want to, or even halfway good, should want to come to our park. Yeah, no, 248 strikeouts last season. Yeah. He's uh, a pretty the, good the, player. I mean, look, who knows if the guy is going to be as good. Who I hope he is. You know, you take a, you roll the dice. But, man, that is, uh, that is encouraging. Yeah. yeah. And he won the Cy Young, so it's not like he's coming off of a weird year and they're hoping he's going to bounce back. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there, you, 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 can't ask the, you can't ask the Mariners to make a better acquisition uh, but to get a stud pitcher like that. And, and they got that's a, a great move. They got a stud second baseman as well, BJ. Yeah. They picked up Adam Frazier from San Diego. That ain't bad. No. No, that ain't bad at all. I mean, they've made some moves. Boom. World Series, here we come. I, you know, it's hard to, it's hard, it's hard not to get excited because, I mean, they, they, they were really pretty decent last year not having a full complement. And, uh, you know, being able to get a full complement plus adding those two dudes and who knows if they're done. They might not even be done. Who knows what else they're going to do? Yeah, that was pretty exciting. I was happy to see that. The Huskies, they got a new coach, Kalen DeBoer, uh, right. is now the coach over there. Uh, well, Tiger Woods said he's done yeah. playing golf full time. Oh, full time. He's just going to do it every once in a while. I don't know. Okay, when well, he's feeling <laughs> like it. When he's feeling a little froggy, I'm going to go out there and play some golf. I don't know, just with golfing. I'm a part time golfer. All right. As far as weather, it's going to rain today with a high of 54 degrees. And thanks to Palace Law for giving us the mix report. All righty. Uh, and that's and what's like, up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. And like Steve said, uh, 717, we will talk to Mitch 
from uh, Mitch Levy from Mitch Unfiltered. We'll talk about the Hawks, though we don't want to. Can we just talk a little bit about the Hawks and then just move on to how awesome the Mariners are going to be? <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, See how yeah, Thanksgiving was. Like, let's just talk about anything but the Hawks. I think it's a good <laughs> idea. I think it's a really, yeah, it's, oh, it's, uh, it's, oh yeah. But they still uh, at the end. I was like, oh, my gosh, they're going to do it. No, of course they're not going to do it. This is not yeah. the Seahawks well, of old. This is the 2021 Seahawks. Right and here's the sad this. thing. Washington's a bad football team. They really, really are a bad They've football team. They've been playing team. decent recently. I mean, not that, look, I'm not trying to make it. Yeah, hey, they're, they're bad. bad. They're in the wild card now. Yeah, but, dude, it's five and six in the wild card. We're not in the I mean, wild card, so clearly well, they're doing something better oh, than us. We're horrible. There's no doubt about the fact that we're horrible because – but Washington's bad. They If they, if, they, if, they, if the if the Redskins – We're talking about the Heineken one. guy. He's a good quarterback, right? Yeah, Heineken's a great guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, seriously <laughs> – I, we, we, I mean, look, our, our defense was on the field all game, and all they got were 17 points, and they almost lost the game. Washington's a really bad football team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They didn't have their kicker. Cut them some slack. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. I, I, I take, I, you know what? I, I, you're right. I, I stand corrected. Uh, yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. What band released the 1976 album Fly Like an Eagle? The Eagles. No. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, crap. Uh, I, I can see him. Whoa. Oh. Like Steve Miller Band. Yeah. Yes. Home. Nice work, buddy. Didn't think you were going to pull that out. Okay. That's uh, all I got. Uh, oh, that's, uh, <laughs> I feel like he's in the room. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if the, the, the synthesizer dude's in the room, but yeah. All right. Hey, you want a shot at beating Steve Miggs? Not Miller, but Steve Miggs. All right. You got it. 206. 421 Rock. Yeah, we're going to play Beat Miggs. We'll do that at 650 on a rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. Can I leave things off of a bankruptcy, like my car? You have to list all of your assets and creditors when you file bankruptcy. So by, you would have to tell the, the court and the trustee that you have the car or that you have a car loan. Uh, you could say that I want to keep my car and continue to make my payments on the car. Uh, but the, the court will need to know that you have a car and, and that me, me, you may have a payment on the car. So by leaving it off the bankruptcy, if you mean that you cannot disclose it to the court, the answer to that is no, you must disclose it. However, that does not mean that you'll lose those assets. You'll be able to keep things like a car and a house in almost all cases, but you must disclose them to the court. Um, but you'll need to continue to make payments on a house or a car that you intend to keep. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in store or online today. Take the next step toward the career you want be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. Oh my gosh, it's been too long since I've been on a bike. I really like it. Living a healthy life free of gambling problems is a lot of fun and a nice change of pace. Did you say race? No. Yes. <laughs> Reconnect with yourself and the ones you love. If gambling is creating a problem for you, there's hope and help. For more information, call the Washington State Helpline at 1-800-547-6133 or visit evergreencpg.org. That's evergreencpg.org.